The drying up of the Great Salt Lake is beginning to have significant economic consequences. And now a big mineral company is calling for no further delays in a plan to punch through a causeway that's acting like a gigantic dam. Science and Nature Specialist John Hollenhorst has the story. The Union Pacific Railroad Causeway has divided the Great Salt Lake since 1959. Several years ago, the railroad closed two failing culverts. That created two very different lakes. The south arm gets all the incoming fresh water from three rivers. The north arm gets almost none. It's become extremely salty, and evaporation is shriveling it up. The north arm is now three and a half feet lower than the south arm, which is unprecedented. Joe Havasey's company relies on the north arm for salty water. Compass Minerals collects it in ponds for a three-year evaporation process. That produces valuable salts for fertilizer, dust control, de-icing, and water softening. You can see the disparity in water elevation if you look closely. The north arm shore has receded six miles from the company's intake canals, so they've had to extend them. And we've had to do that four times since 2000 and 14. The lake is a billion dollar a year business for various industries. The companies and government agencies agreed several years ago to breach the causeway. The Union Pacific built a bridge and was all set to knock out a 150 foot wide hole. The original plan was to breach the causeway in September, but that was suddenly delayed to December. Compass Minerals is worried that it might get delayed again or even canceled. We're concerned that if uh, the breach is delayed through 2017, the north arm could go down another two feet, as it's done the past two years. The delay to December was prompted by concerns that excess salt from the north arm would flow to the other side of the tracks. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources feared the sudden change could threaten the food source for millions of birds. Juvenile brine shrimp in their most critical month, October. They're susceptible to that salinity change and they uh, probably would uh, suffer. A spokesman for the brine shrimp industry praised the railroad for the delay, but he was non-committal about whether the industry will actually support the project going ahead in December. We got more work to do. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News.